What up, and welcome back to some more downrange gaming, son. Playing some gun game on like the Nuketown map. And uh, the last time I left you guys, I was talking about my boot camp experience. So I wanted to continue on with boot camp. But first, I wanted you guys to check out the new background and banner on the channel. And a friend of mine named Barnsey Z, I'll uh, put a link. He's the one who hooked it up, super talented guy with Photoshop. And everyone go over to his channel and tell him he did a dope ass job because it's dope fresh as sun. So back on the boot camp stories, since we're still in the beginning stages of my military career, uh, I think I left you guys last time with first getting to boot camp and stuff like that. So I wanted to tell you about some of the, like the rules that we had to go by there. And one of the rules was, which luckily I was told about before I got there was. Every time you speak to a training instructor, TI, you had to say a reporting statement first. It was so weird and stupid. So if I wanted to ask him a question, which I tried never to, because they always were like smart asses and made you feel like shit, but you had to say a reporting statement. And when you first got the boot camp, the reporting statement sounded like this. So if I wanted to ask Sergeant Panting, that was my TI's name, uh, like what time is Chow tonight or something, you know, I would be like, Sir, Trainee Wellens reports is ordered. What time is Chow tonight, sir? And that's how I went to ask him. And uh, I used to, like, I was so nervous at messing it up in the beginning. Because, like I said, it, it's weird. I, when I think about it now, it's like, how was I so nervous about stuff like that? But when you're there, it's like they really get in your head and mess with you. So, like I said, you had to say, Sir, Trainee Wellens reports is ordered. What's for Chow, sir? And it, <laughs> it was dumb. I remember, like, the first night at boot camp, one of the other trainees runs up to Sergeant Panning. This is before they told us about the reporting statements, but I knew. But a lot of the other trainees didn't. He runs up to, and you know, he just acts like he thinks he's supposed to act because he's seen it in movies. He was like, "Sir, sir!" He's like screaming at him, "Sir, what do I do next, sir?" Like yelling. At him. And Sergeant Panting goes, "Who the fuck are you yelling at, trainee? Get the fuck over!" Like he was just I'm like, "What an idiot." The dude looked like such a dumbass. I'm like, you're supposed to say a reported statement, and they don't want you fucking yelling at them. This isn't the movies. It's different. So that was one of the funny situations. Now, something that happened with me with reporting statements happened, and it was a good story, and a lot of the trainees, we talked about it later on in boot camp, was I had, we had a female TI filling in one day or something, and she was doing, uh, like, locker checks, like, they would have to inspect our lockers. I'll get into that on another day. And she was inspecting my locker. And I had to ask her something. So I had to ask her. So I had to say the reporting statement. So I'm like, sir, Airman Wellens reports this order, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what I had to ask her. And I remember she was like, excuse me? And I thought she was saying excuse me because she didn't hear my name. I was like, Airman Wellens. She's like, excuse me? I'm like, Wellens excuse me and I got like real closer now I was like I like sounded out I was like well ends like I thought she didn't hear my name and like I remember I was surrounded by a, a, like more trainees and they probably knew what was going on and what I did wrong and she yells somebody get chief smack a hoe the fuck out of my face for calling me sir and I'm like oh I mean ma'am Airman Wells reports his order ma'am I'm sorry ma'am and like she just reamed me out yelled at me maybe do like shit ton of push-ups or whatever Made me feel like shit, and uh, and I remember later on, like talking to other trainees, they're like, Wellens was so funny. He like got all in her face. It was like Wellens. I don't know. We thought that was really funny at the time. So other rules and responsibilities of boot camp were they gave us like little jobs in a dorm. We all had specific jobs. This way, the dorm was as far as cleaning. This way, the dorm was nice and clean, and uh, it was just more stuff for us to do. So my job was in the latrine. Like we had a team of trainees that had to clean the latrine. And the latrine means bathroom. In the military, we called it a latrine. And the head person in charge of the latrine was the latrine queen. That's what we'd call them. But luckily, I got a pretty easy job in the latrine. I just had to make sure all the chrome in the latrine was polished up nice and shiny. So I didn't have to scrub toilets except for like the chrome behind the toilets or whatever. I had to scrub it with like this chrome polish it's pretty easy so we'd get inspected every day you know the, the ti would come in there and inspect the, 
the latrine and he would it was so crazy on how they would like how like detailed they were he would turn the lights off take a flashlight and put it on the ground if he seen any little dust or anything he you know we get in trouble we were even like using our lint rollers i don't know if you know what a lint roller is it's like a little sticky like a uh, roller thing that you use it for like your uniform to get off lint we would be lint rolling the the tile floor with it just to get every tiny bit of dust everywhere but so there was this one occasion the ti comes in the bathroom he's inspecting it and there's an effing pube on the shower floor the shower was like 10 shower heads it was huge it was like a big room with showers and there's a there's a pube on the floor you know and he's like latrine you know, he's yelling at us, screaming at us, bring us in there. He's like saying, what the F is that on the ground? It's pube. Disgusting. Just one pube, which is disgusting anyways. But you know how hard it is to pass over one hair? You know, we're done cleaning it. So but nothing was ever good enough to TIs in the boot camp. So he gets us all in the push-up position to do push-ups in the, in the shower now because of that pube. And I just remember like doing push-ups and the pube is like right in my face. I'm like doing a push-up. And it's like, what well, down and up. And I'm like, oh, God, this pube is right here. So I'm like blowing it. I'm trying to blow it towards a different tra trainee and like doing push-ups across from me. So it's in his face now. And he sees that I'm doing that. Now he's blowing it back. And we're like doing his push-ups, trying to blow this pube to each other's faces. I don't know. I thought that was one of the funniest things that could have happened right then. And, you know, we did like, I don't know how many push-ups for that. Get out. Someone cleans the pube up. We're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little boot camp stories this time and this is actually the first time i ever played well not first time i played gun game but first time i ever won at gun game i've never won at gun game luckily i was recording it and uh you know there's practice first prank at the top son so thank you for watching some more downrange gaming and definitely make sure you give a thumbs up favorite and leave some comments of more stuff you want me to talk about or you want to hear in the next video and i have tons of stories i do eventually make it to the police academy out of boot camp so those are going to be some good stories some crazy stuff happen so until next time peace son